Hey everyone, Fez here from Crypto Setups. Today I'm going to take you through how you stake the Luna token and where you can do it. So first thing you need is the TerraStation desktop app. And if you've gotten here and you're wondering, oh, because I have everything set up and you haven't got the app and haven't set up your wallet, etc. I have done a tutorial, one of the first tutorials I, I did over the Terra covering the Terra network is how to set up your extension and the application wallet. So make sure you follow that. Once you're done, say you've transferred some Luna into your wallet and the next step is you want to actually stake this Luna to earn staking rewards. And as you can see over here, uh, this is the dashboard wallet. You would go through staking and start staking the token. So this is what I'm gonna to do today. I'm gonna to take you through how you stake your Luna tokens. One thing to note that's cool about staking Luna is at the moment they have quite a lot of different protocols being built and uh, part of this when you stake you will receive a lot of airdrops and there is a site that you can check to, to see what you will be getting or will be included in and I'll include that in the show links um, notes. So let's dive in. Staking. This is what strictly I'm going to cover staking. So let's jump in. I have got my showcase wallet with a bit of Luna here and let's look at what we see. When you click click on staking, as you can see, I've delegated a tiny bit of Luna as I was playing with it. And based on what I did a few hours back, already my rewards are starting to churn in. So the way staking works is you stake, it gets uh, staked to a node and you earn rewards, which is in Luna themselves. So um, that's, that's potentially how all proof of stake works. So what are we looking at here? Here are all the different uh, nodes you can stake against uh, the people who run these validators. Now, a lot of them you'll notice familiar like Orion Money, which is a protocol being built on in the Terra ecosystem and the various other names so some things that to understand the tick the tick is a verified uh, node operator so usually they have a website with a bit of information around it uh, if you want a, a trusted party there and coming back here voting power uh, i believe this is to do with you know when when they're voting on network protocols the kind of weight they have the self-delegation how much they have delegated themselves onto their node uh, validator commission so this is where uh, then some of the nodes do charge a tiny bit of commission um, based on block blocks they process i believe delegation return this is what you expect to get and we are the delegator so if you are uh, staking your lunar token that's the delegator um, so in this case it's me and one thing to note is usually any new uh, node operators will pop right up to the top and have a new badge and usually they'll probably be quite high in terms of rewards i believe this is some to entice you know voters to vote against them um, to delegate to them but uh, just make sure you flick through and look for what you you find interesting now in in this case i'm just going to keep it simple i'm going to just pick um a, well I've, I've used orion money so I'm going to just scroll down and let's try these this this mob here. Now, one other little quick fact about the staking. The, the way Luna works is it's not through inflation or anything the rewards are derived from. They come from transactions that are across the various uh, dApps on the ecosystem and it gets put back into Luna and that's where it gets rewarded. So depending on which node transacts actually process the blocks, that's where they earn rewards. Hence, you can see variations via different nodes some of them are 13 12 etc and and things like that they're, they're little bits to take into account so uh, keep that in mind i'm just now let's pick this mob here okay so the first thing you need to do is ensure you have luna in your wallet as you saw before i had some eight around eight luna the second thing when you click on the node that you want to vote for you can see a bit more information so what are we looking at over here over here, what, what, a couple of things, these are two things to keep note of, max commission rate. So this means the maximum rate they would charge for commission if they went to update their changes is they can only go up to 25%. And every day they can only move it up by 1%. So if you find yourself in a situation, you've voted for them, all of a sudden the node operator decides they want to take a bit of the cut of the um, what they're earning and increase the rate, they have limitations that they can go up to. So something you should keep an eye on over here. 
Okay, let's run through the process now. So, two things to remember when you delegate, it gets locked. So then there's a turnaround time when you want to undelegate before you can then move your Luna around. But to delegate, all you do is click over here. You can see it's got my wallet. I will come back to that and I will put two here. Hit next. I have to, you always have to. So now what it was telling me is make sure you do not throw all your Luna, not necessarily at one node, just all your Luna out of your wallet. Because remember, you have to pay fees in Luna. So I've made sure I kept that. So let me put in my password. And done. So that is delegated. Now, coming back to staking. And what I could do is, you can see right away, as soon as I've delegated, I have um, put some Luna to do two different validators. And I could click on rewards, and this is from the original delegation. And that's how it's looking. Now, a couple of more things. So if you wanted to, uh, the next step, if you wanted to redraw rewards, I could click here and it would process it. Now, I wouldn't pay the fee just to redraw that much. I'll have to pay more in fees. So the next thing is, now say if you want to actually re-delegate. So you, you've come across a validator and you've got, you know, I've got four delegated here, but I think, oh, actually, I want to split one of them to someone else. That's fine. I want to take it out of the pot that I already have delegated. So let, let's do that. Let's do that right now. The next thing, well, I'll look at Terra India. Okay, so I'll click on that. Now, I'll click on delegate. And I'll take this and move one. So see what happens here is all of a sudden after I've delegated to redelegate, I can pick through the drop down list. So I will pick from them, redelegate one, hit next. Yes, you have to put in your password and yes, you have to pay a fee. So think if you need to do it when you're doing it. Uh, obviously, I wouldn't redelegate such tiny amounts. It's kind of just wasting money here. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I want to show how these things are done. And that's it. So now when we go back to staking, you can clearly see everyone I've delegated against and it will show me my rewards. So this is where when you come you can see the delegation return rate is different for everyone because as I called out earlier, it is dependent on how many blocks they're processing and the fees etc that come through there. So um, it's quite a unique system, but this is underlying what is securing the blockchain. Obviously, that's why it's proof of stake chain. Um, and yeah, that's it. Now, a couple of things here. Obviously, if you're staking, that Luna is locked up, so you couldn't take that, that Luna into Anchor and do take out a loan or do anything there. Something to keep in mind. However, I, I do understand that the airdrop's running for all those protocols, so by staking your Luna stash here, you couldn't can go and claim some of the um, uh, tokens of, of those protocols. And I'll include that site that shows where, how you can link and double check everything, which is quite nifty. But once again, that's the tutorial. All I wanted to show today was how you pick your uh, validator, what some of this information means, and how you can delegate and re-delegate once you've delegated to a node operator. And finally, just tick it off with how you can claim your rewards, where when you see it over here, you just hit withdraw all and pay the fee. So make sure you're claiming it when you see fit. Thanks for watching. If you like my content, please subscribe and share it around. The more we can get this content out there and help and show users how to utilize such protocols, the more people we have in crypto. Thanks for watching. Take care, everyone.